Journal Connection. I'm your host, John Muir Laws. Today, I'm at a reservoir. The water level has dropped and it's exposed the organisms that are normally under the water. Looking around here, I've found two different types of clams. So I've got these little ones that are kind of your classic clam shape. And I've got these big ones that sort of have a nose that sticks out. What I'm going to do in my journal is what's called a joint comparison. This is one of my favorite activities because the way it changes the way that I think and the way that I look is really profound. And so I use this trick all the time. Anytime I find two objects that are kind of in the same category, but different, this is my opportunity for a joint comparison. And what I'm going to do is in my journal, I'm going to draw this one right next to this one. Then I'm going to turn it at a different angle. I'm going to draw this one right next to this one. And boom, 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 down the page, I'm going to have comparison, comparison, comparison. Because what happens is that when I start looking at the features on this one in comparison to this, the differences between them are going to highlight the characteristics that make each of these things unique and special. If I was just looking at one of these, a number of the features wouldn't really stand out to me as being important because if I've got nothing to compare it to, I wouldn't be able to see that these are the sorts of characteristics that can vary as you look across different kinds of, of clams. So, I'm going to grab my journal, take a little bit of time, diagram this one, diagram this one, and I'm going to see what I find in my side-by-side -side joint comparison. I start my joint comparison by just making whoop, a straight line right down the middle of the page. I'm going to keep all my notes about one clam on one side and the other clam on the other. It's a simple graphic organizer. And then I traced the shapes of those shells, and that gives me the size, the width, and all the contours of each of those shells really, really easily. And you'll notice that I start off all those drawings with a really pale pencil drawing. Here I'm using a light purple pencil. You can use a light colored pencil for something like that. Then I go over those lines to add my details. Here with a ballpoint pen, you can also use a pencil if you like drawing in pencil. But it really helps to start to block it in with a really light pencil. You'll notice that I'm using words and pictures and numbers together. Those three strategies really help me pull out different aspects of these clams. To get my numbers, I'm using my ruler to measure using millimeters, the, the lengths of different angles of the shells. And I'm also counting the number of ridges and grooves that go up in the shell. You'll see also that I'm using cross sections I'm doing enlargements of some parts, so that zoom in, zoom out technique we looked at. All those strategies can come together on a single Nature Journal page, making a really dynamic way to record your observations. This joint comparison has been really successful for me. I was able to notice a bunch of subtle differences between these characteristics of these two kinds of shells that there's no way I would have seen them if I just had looked at one on its own. I wouldn't have picked out that these sorts of things are really significant. Here's just a few examples. The ridges on this one, on the little one, the little one has these really evenly spaced big ridges. They're easy to count and about 26 on a little shell like this. This thing in just about that much space, there's more than a hundred. Right, so if these are like tree rings, this is older than me. That's crazy. I wonder if they're adding them like tree rings or if those rings actually see alternate hypothesis here. Maybe those rings are not put down annually. Maybe they represent something else in this environment. I don't know. 
Anyway, cool comparison between these two. Another really interesting thing is that the big one, the big one has this really brittle shell. I can snap it and crush it easily in my fingers. The little one, the little one shell, hold on, the little, the little one shell is strong. I can't break the little one shell. So it's got a much thicker shell that is resistant to, to breaking. Another interesting thing is just in the overall shape of them. I picked this up when I, I saw this when I first uh, uh, grabbed these off the, the beach here, but this one has this strange little nose that sticks out. And this one, it's kind of your classic clam shape. When I have these two side by side, something like the spacing of those ridges or the number of those ridges really stands out to me. If I was just looking at one all by itself, I don't know if I would have picked up on that detail. I would have just kind of gone like, oh yeah, it's got little rings on it. And I've seen those on mussels. I've seen those on other clams. They've, they've all got them. But I wouldn't be getting into like, oh, oh, the spacing of these things is different. That came about specifically because I did a joint comparison. And that brings us to your nature journaling challenge for this week. Find two things in the same category, two different kinds of things, perhaps two different species in the same category, in the same group, and compare them and see what you notice. So this could be, if you're in the middle of winter, two um, twigs of two deciduous trees with buds on them and compare the two of those. or two 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 pine cones two shells two shells the closer you can get those the types of shells the more interesting it's going to be you know it's okay to compare a clam shell with a snail shell but if you compare two different kinds of snail shells that's where this kind of an activity really is going to pump your observation up to a higher level so find two similar things the same category and then dive in and see what you see in a joint comparison. And then take this joint comparison trick and put it in your back pocket. Anytime you're walking around and exploring and you see two things in the same category, perhaps two um, flower buds on different species, right? compare those two side by side. And you're going to see that as you do that, Again, the characteristics that make them different are going to really help accentuate to you those features that are really special about each of those. And until next time, this is your Nature Journal Connection. Doo -doo -doo.